So Asher and I have spent the afternoon making our own homemade butter. It's absolutely beautiful. It's relatively easy to do. We've done a chili butter, a herb butter, and just a plain salted butter. They're just so delicious, it's not true. And now we're gonna show you how to do them. So let's begin our butter making. We only need two ingredients. Good quality double cream, and again, I'm using Rowan's Dairy here, lovely, lovely quality, and a little bit of salt, which is to bring out the flavor of the butter, and also to increase the preservation of the butter. Asha, do you think you can pour the cream into the bowl for me? Yeah. Now, we're going to take our whisk and we're going to start whisking. Now just hold it up because we're at the softly whipped cream stage and you can see that it's forming its own peaks. But Asha, I need you to continue whipping and take it on to the next stage please. So now we're at the really well whipped or possibly over whipped stage now for a dessert. The cream has really come together. It's very, very thick. And we now need to take it through to the next stage where hopefully we're actually gonna see the cream split. The butter solids will split from the butter milk. If the cream starts to rise up a little bit, just take a spatula and smooth that down from the outsides and continue. So now we can see the cream is really starting to separate. It's looking a little bit like curd cheese. The buttermilk is starting to come out and we're left with lumps of what's gonna very soon turn into our butter. So that's now our butter completely separated. So what we've got to do now is separate off the buttermilk from the butter. And I've just got a jug and a sieve and I'm very simply going to scoop out the butter and put that into the sieve. So now I've got all of my butter into the sieve and underneath we've got our precious buttermilk. Don't throw that away. There's so many things you can do with that. You can make soda bread with it. Have a look on the website and check out that recipe. It's also really good for marinating chicken. Absolutely fantastic. But what we've got to do now is get all of that buttermilk out of our butter. Because buttermilk is acidic, if we leave the buttermilk in the butter, it's going to turn it rancid a lot quicker than if we get as much of it out as we can. So the first thing I'm going to do is just press down and you'll see the buttermilk there still leaching out of the butter somewhat. To get even more of that buttermilk out, we're going to do something which is a little counterintuitive. I've got a big bowl full of just fresh cold water here and I'm now going to wash my butter by putting it straight into the water. And I'm now going to just gently wash it using my hands, just squeeze it and you'll notice that the water becomes a little bit cloudy and that is the buttermilk coming out of the butter and into the water. Give it a bit of a squeeze and get as much of that water out as possible into a sieve and allow that to drain for a few minutes. And now we're ready to add the salt. 
So we're just going to turn it out onto the board. Now the salt helps not only with the flavour, but also with the preservation. So your butter will last longer with the salt in. We're working on a ratio of about 1.5%. So weigh out your butter and then work out 1.5% of that and that's what your salt is. Using a kitchen scraper, that's great. We're just gonna bring that together. That is the salt incorporated into our butter. And now we can just form it. So there's our beautiful butter. It's fantastic just as it is, but there's a few more things that we can do with it as well. beautiful parsley butter. This will freeze really, really well. Just stick it into the freezer and then you can very simply just slice off individual portions. And if you've got just a little bit of grilled fish or grilled chicken, meat, whatever you might have, or just some lovely vegetables, just put that on the top, allow it to melt and it will be absolutely beautiful. Whilst Asher's not here, I've got one more flavoring in mind for me as well. got here an antique butter stamp. These would have been used for each farm to make their stamp on the butter so you knew where your butter came from. Absolutely beautiful little things. I've just got a slab of cold butter here and I'm just going to use that to make an impression on the butter. So here we are, we've finished our butter making for the day. We've got a beautiful salted butter, a lovely herby parsley one, and my personal favorite, the sweet and hot chili butter. Just absolutely delicious. Time for a little bit of a taste, do you think? Just delicious. It's so creamy and so lovely. You'll never buy shop bought again once you start making your own. Please do give it a go and let us know how you get on. Happy butter making! If you enjoyed this video please hit that like button down below and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and hit that little bell to turn on notifications.